wanted to demonstrate how photos can be animated using GIMP and Nero. So what better way to do this than by using a 600 year old painting of the Mona Lisa. The first thing I need to do is left click on the desktop icon for GIMP2. I'm going to go and find the painting that I'm going to give you. So I come up to the left hand side, file and then I open file and I'm looking for a folder. This is the folder. I click open. That's the file. I click open and it loads it here. Now what I'm going to do is use this tool here again. It's the lasso tool and I'm going to quickly work my way around this image. I'm doing this quickly. I could have scaled this image up so that I could work far more accurately with it but it's just a demonstration purposes that I'm using this image so it's really just to show you the technique and then I can come across so I'm working as quickly as I can you'll have to forgive any slight inaccuracy and then when I get back to the start I get the dotted lines and that means I've selected the lady to work on but I want to select the background so I come to where it says select I click on invert and now I can select a rubber and I can rub this area out here but I want to rub through not just to the background which is white but I want to rub that image so it's clear and to do that I need to come across here right click click on add an alpha channel and now when I rub I'm bring right through that image and it's going to come out clear if I use the right file type so I'm going to scale a brush up or rubber up choose a hard rubber and I should be able to very quickly get rid of that background now what I need to do is come up here to where it says select and then click on none and that's deselected so I can work now on the uh, lady and again I'm going to use the lasso tool I'm going to scale the image up to be more accurate and I'm going to mark around the face And I'm just marking a zigzag line across to make it more difficult to see the line when I actually import this image into Nero. And that's it. So I'm just going to make a copy of this image so I right click I come down to where it says duplicate layer and left click and I'm going to turn that duplicated layer off now what I want to do on this image is select invert because I'm wanting to work not on the jaw but on the lady behind the jaw and again I will resize smaller I'm going to use the rubber again or eraser as some people would call it 
and I'm going to erase the body and the head leaving the jaw and now I'm going to come up to where it says select I'm going to select invert and I'm going to work on the I'm going to drop the size of the eraser and I'm going to work on the opacity about 50% and I'm going to use a softer rubber eraser just to make a feathered edge so that when I get this jaw to move I don't have a solid line to see and so I'm just using the outside edge of that eraser just to make a little bit of translucency through the jaw and now I need to export that image so I'm going to click on file I'm going to export as export as and I'm going to choose a file extension which is going to be a PNG file extension and I'm going to give the image a new name and I'm going to call it testing one and I'm going to give it a dot PNG file extension and then I click export and it is going to export in the highest quality I click export and that file has gone now I can remove this image by uh, coming to where it says uh, delete layer and I can switch the next image on and what I'm going to do again is work on the face of our lady and to do that I'm going to scale up to 200 I'll get rid of that selection uh, by clicking none I'll click on the lasso tool now I'm just going to draw some teeth basically onto our lady and I'm going to work along the mouth along the top lip and then I'm going to come down and that is the area I've selected and I'm going to paint that so I come to me color choice I left click I choose a gray color I click OK and I'm using this paintbrush to paint the teeth in and there we have it we have some teeth and so now I have to export that image so I come to the top left I come down to where it says export as I'm going to export it as a PNG file it's already uh, here I've got to give it a name I want to call it something different so I will call this 2 test2.png and I click to export and that image is going to be exported in the highest quality I click export and I have now finished with this program now what I need to do is open Nero Platinum 17 and it brings me to this screen and I'm going to click on Nero video and it will open up um, in this screen and I'm going to make advanced movie so I click left click make advanced movie and that brings us to this screen top right hand side left click import file and I'm going to choose these two files they're the two files testing one testing two and this is our audio file it's actually a video and I'm going to click to open and it's going to bring those files into our project and what we're going to do first is I'm going to click on pictures and I'm going to use these two pictures on this video line now I'm going to scale up so that it's easier to work with 
and I'm going to left click to select this image. Now this is the image of the jaw and I want that above the image of the teeth. So I'm pushing up on the line and it opens up a new video line. I'm going to left click and drag that uh, image with the teeth on underneath the one with the jaw. And if you notice that the image here, if I go full screen just to show you, is uh, uh, the original image uh, because your jaw is over the teeth and it looks like the original image. And so what I need to do is move that jaw, but the trick is moving that jaw in time with the talking. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing that. I'm going to use this video of our actress. I'm going to left click, drag, and I'm dragging that into timeline one. And you can see the actress behind the picture. And I could move that actress so I can see her because we're able to see through that PNG file, the part we rubbed away. And what this allows me to do is watch her face and I could use that to move the jaw in time by just slowly moving frame by frame along and seeing how the actress's mouth moves. There, she's starting to talk there and I can actually see her talking. Now that sounds daft, but it's true. If I come to the bottom left hand side, there's a little symbol, left click on that, and magically a line opens up. The audio line comes wider, and I can actually see here the movement of the mouth because I can see the soundtrack. And if I put the timeline accurately there that would be her mouth closed and if I move along a fraction to there her mouth would be open and I can see how much the mouth moves and that gives me an indication of how much I want to move the jaw on the picture. So what I need to do at this point just before that I need the jaw shut, which it is at the moment, and I have to come up here. I'm going to be working on the jawline, that's this video line three. I left click on that to select it. I'm going to use effects palette, click to open that up. I'm coming across to where it says position, left click, and I'm going to use keyframes. I'm going to choose this one. This, this one's a smooth movement and I'm going to move that jaw down very accurately. I have these numbers here, the X and the Y. The Y is up and down, the X is side to side. And if I change these numbers, if I left click on that box, I can move this um, number to a different number. And I'm just going to put on the very end, dot or one. And that puts a mark there. Now that won't have moved the mouth anything at all. It uh, will still look shut because it's such a small number difference. But if I come down, I know the mouth is going to be open there. And I come up here and I go to that number again and I make it bigger. So I'm going to take that art out not out and I'm going to put in a five and I click I get another dot and if we look at the image here the mouth has more moved and it's moving in time with the soundtrack and I'm able to have an idea of how far to move it from the actress so I then need to shut the mouth and I know that the mouth is going to be shut at that point there. So I come up and I'm going to have the mouth shut. So what I need to do is on here, I'm going to make that number not. And I need these two numbers to be not as well. So if I then click on the screen, I then have 
those three dots and they correspond to the soundtrack and I've made the picture say one word and so if I show you that by going full screen if you watch the mouth I click to play I got one word and what I need to do is obviously use this technique through the whole video um, and then I need to get rid of the background because I don't want our actress in the background and so I select that uh, image because I've clicked on the screen where that uh, timeline is it's highlighted this and I want to leave behind the soundtrack because if I deleted this now I would delete the soundtrack and that's the whole point of this is having the soundtrack what I need to do is unlink video and audio and then I need to get rid of the image so remove from track and all of a sudden I have a black background and I have that image saying that one word I that's what that word was and so the I has been spoken by the 600 year old painting and it's been spoken in time with the actress and yet now you can't see the actress and I just need to move through the um, soundtrack all the way through it would take a long time to do that and I'm only demonstrating the technique and when I, I had done all of that I would then export bottom left I don't want to save this project I would browse where this is going to go it's going to go on my D drive I would give it whatever name I want um, say test uh, I would save that and I would just check these settings I'm going to make it in a very high quality and I would then export and once that uh, information is rendered together I can then import it back into the project and in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to put what you've learnt in the first part of this tutorial and the second part of this tutorial together and how a soundtrack can bring it all together so until next time thank you for watching